So if you want to be a bit more precise with your drawings, then you can use the grid option inside of Toon Boom. So uh, in order to access the grid, you can go over here and just press this icon right here. And that actually gives you a grid, as you can see right here as a reference. You see it in the drawing and both in the camera view right here. So let, let us go in the drawing view because that is most likely where you'll be using the grid right over here. So you might be drawing out something over here. So something like a graph. So usually for freehand drawings, you do not use this, but for uh, like precise drawings, you might actually use this. So you might actually use this something to make something like a bar graph right over here and use it as a reference right here. So where there's one unit of difference right over here. But in your case, you might be getting different type of grid depending on your settings. So over here, you have the grid just like this. So you can just draw out something like a square as a reference over here. So to get the difference sort of of the grid settings, you can go to view right over here and then you can go to grid. So instead of uh, clicking on this button right here, you can go directly to view, go to grid, and then click on show grid as well. So if you were to click on show grid, you can see that it got disabled. You go to view, go to grid, click on uh, show grid, and there you go. Let me just change the color and let's see how it reacts uh, to different patterns right over here. And you might have noticed over here that the grids are actually on top of the drawing right over here. So if you were to actually go to view and go to grid right over here, you can also just show the grid and show only the outlines over here. So it is not working on this sort of a grid, but it'll work on the other. We'll see in a while. So over here, uh, right now, you can see that uh, the grid is set to overlay, that is, it is on top of the drawing. But if I were to go on underlay, it'll go uh, below the drawing and the drawings will be on the top, as you can see right here. If I were to change the grid in, from square grid, so this is the grid that is being used right now. So if you come from Illustrator or Flash, then you might be used to this type of grid. But if you are to change it into 12 real grid, you can see that now you only see the outline of the grid right here. That is because we only enable the outline of the grid, grid outline only. If I were to disable this, you'll be able to see uh, different type of a grid right here. So depending on the type of drawing you want to make, you might want to use this type of a grid. So over here, there's the underlay and the overlay. It works similarly right over here. But for this one, the outline only will enable it to see that grid outline only. So let me just disable this out right here. So this is um, a 12 field grid and now if you are to change it into 16 field grid then it becomes larger as you can see so like I said for uh, like a precise drawing you may want to use grids but if you want more of a freehand drawing then this might not be what you want so overlay and other day and uh, so grid option are right over here so even in camera view what you can do is you can go over here onto the selection tool right over here this is the camera view and you can go to view go to grid and show the grid and you'll get it. So, and that is how do you use the grid tool inside of uh, Toon Boom Harmony. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.